The Random Jottings of Donald J. In Nelson in Bendel, Lancashire. St. Peter's Church in Burnley had a rich history full of tales and legends, but none quite as strange as the story of the ghostly pigs. The locals claimed that the church was meant to be built on a spot where religious rites were regularly conducted, but every time the builders tried to start construction, the stones were moved by ghostly pigs. The builders tried and tried, but they could not complete the church on that spot. Eventually, they gave up and built the church on its current site. To commemorate the strange occurrence, carvings of pigs were etched into the south side of the church and the ancient font. Although some believed that the pigs were merely representations of the paschal lamb, the locals continued to tell the story of the ghostly pigs. Some even claimed to have seen the spectral swine wandering the streets of Burnley at night. The church also had its share of other ghostly residents. One such resident was a black dog named Trash or Scryker. Trash was said to be enormous, with glowing eyes that could pierce the darkness. Those who saw the dog were said to be doomed to hear of the death of a loved one soon after. The distance of the doomed person was said to be related to the clarity of the dog's appearance. Another ghostly resident was an organist who played beautiful music at random intervals. A letter printed in the Burnley Advertiser in 1855 described the organist's performances of popular songs such as, Oh Susanna, Merrily Dance the Quaker's Wife, and, Coal Black Rose. The letter even encouraged the publication to help expand the ghost's audience. St. Peter's Church had a history of ghostly sightings and unexplained events, but the legend of the ghostly pigs remained one of the most bizarre and intriguing tales of the church's past. By Donald J.